from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. As millions of new alternative fuel cars hit the road, health officials need to know exactly how they will affect air pollution. Scientists from UC Davis and the University of Wisconsin-Madison are beginning a study that will give us answers. Over 18 million California residents live uh, under conditions of some of the highest particulate matter concentrations and some of the highest ozone concentrations across the U.S. each year. Researchers especially want to know how alternative fuel emissions will be affected by climate change. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency gave $900,000 to these two institutions to study the airborne particles that come from alternative fuel cars and light trucks. Wayne Astry, an EPA administrator, says the four-year research grant will reveal vital information. What we haven't been able to address is what are the effects of increasing temperature on those pollutants that are being emitted? So understanding what are the effects of both temperature and humidity from alternative fuel vehicles, whether it's ethanol or other types of alt fuels, is very important. Kleeman says initial research has revealed some surprises. Our conventional wisdom had always been in the field that most of what comes out of the tailpipe in particle form is motor oil. Uh, but it turns out that when we do our chemical analysis and drill deeper, we were able to determine that there's actually a pretty big fuel contribution to those particle emissions as well. Nastri said scientists were chosen from Wisconsin and UC Davis because of their international expertise in air quality issues. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.